Jenna Bush speaking on ways to limit asbestos litigation in Michigan today while Senator Arlen Specter prepares to hold a Judiciary Committee hearing on the issue on Tuesday. Joining us now to discuss the Senator's effort to create a compromise favored both by asbestos victims and by corporate America is Mike Baruti, Chairman of the Asbestos Alliance Steering Committee and Executive Director for the National Association of Manufacturers, and Linda Reinstein, she's Executive Director and Co-Founder of the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization, a nonprofit victims group. I want to thank you both for being with us. And, um, thank you for having us on, Ron. Thank you. Linda, thank if you, I may Ron. start with you, um, we were speaking to our reporter Rob Reynolds a little bit earlier in the, in, in the uh, program, and uh, we were discussing the difficulty of identifying exactly who has been harmed uh, directly by asbestos exposure. One, because the you know, latency period is so long, and two, we've seen cases where smokers got lung cancer, but they were also as exposed to asbestos. So how do we define the victim group itself? Well, I think we have to first look at asbestos as a public health crisis and not a bankruptcy issue. And as far as diagnosing asbestos-related diseases, patho path the pathology reports are very, very clear. There's no misunderstanding that asbestos exposure causes specific diseases such as asbestosis and mesothelioma. All right. Now, uh, Mike, with respect to um, the manufacturer's uh, position here, uh, is this compromise legislation that's being hammered out by Senator Specter going in the right direction, or uh, is it something that still needs uh, a little bit of work? We think it's going, it still needs work, but it is very much going in the right direction. We think a trust fund is essential to getting this problem out of the courts and resolved in a way that's fair first to the true victims of asbestos exposure and treats them fairly at the same time that it stems this uh, awful tide of bankruptcies that has swept through corporate America as a result of this asbestos litigation scandal. Now, now Linda, would you agree that, that, that uh, a trust fund is the best way to go, or do you think there has to be some sort of open-ended uh, commitment by corporate America to, to fund uh, what could be a, a long-lasting and still a developing list of victims from asbestos exposure? Well, I think you're right when you talk about the long list of developing victims, especially after the 9-11 incident with the 9-11 cough that you're already hearing downtown, you're seeing the early symptoms of disease. No, we're against this fund on many different reasons. The medical criteria alone is faulty. Explain our, how. Well, our medical advisory board has come up specifically, and I think I'd have to defer professionally to them. That would be most, most appropriate. But there's some standards that the American Thoracic Society has set forward to evaluate disease, diagnose, and treat, and none of that criteria has been implemented to the bill, and that's a critical component. The other, there are some other issues, too, that need to be faced, and there's too many bureaucratic uh, and administrative hurdles for victims. As you can only imagine, when you're diagnosed with uh, a, 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 term, a terminal disease or, or advanced stage disease where you have little options, you don't have time to face the hurdles of the government to try to be compensated. If this trust fund could pass, a victim could basically wait six to eight years to possibly Receive, receive compensation, and that compensation may not even be there. Well, and yeah, Mike, let me get your response to that because if indeed someone is, you know, uh, either uh, terminally afflicted or, or, or in an early stage of, of, of the disease but can't get access to funds for treatment uh, and, and help, that, as Linda suggested, might not seem terribly fair. Uh, well, it, it, the problem is the opposite as we see it. We're, uh, we're very sympathetic to the, to the concerns of the real victims here. The president you, you cited was out in Michigan draw, shining a bright light on this problem today. My understanding is that with him out there was a woman, Ms. Keener, whose father tragically died too young four years ago of mesothelioma. His widow, uh, the woman's mother, uh, had sought counsel, had a lawyer, brought suit, and has received thus far, the woman reported to the president, only two very small checks that represent pennies on the dollar of the claims she sought. The tort system to deal with this is broken and it has been broken for a very long time in a way that first Adds, injury, adds insult to the injury of true victims of asbestos exposure, and then adds all of this economic damage on top of it. It's cost the, the economy $80 billion to date. It's cost workers at companies affected their jobs in many cases. The value of their 401k savings has been dried up because of what it does to the stock prices of these companies. It hurts the communities that rely on, these, on the economic activity of the, of the companies themselves. The trust fund is the right solution. Leaving it in the court system will only perpetuate the scandal we've had to date 
Ms. Keener's story about her father and her mother is only one example. There are thousands, tens of thousands. Linda, I'll of give you the final stories. word to respond to that. Well, Ron, thank you. If the tort system is broken, you need to fix the tort system, not take away your civil right to a lawsuit. We have thousands of people around the world, concerned citizens and victims. They are alarmed and concerned that this law could be passed, and you'll lose your right and, and protection and any compensation. And lastly, Ron, we don't have any money built out for the research and treatment and education to really bring in those people, identify the disease, and treat them. It's not about the money. It's about the dead and dying people that need to be thought of right now. Oh, I don't want to thank you both for being with thank us, Mike. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. And still to come on Street Signs, a Chinese company set to bid billions on Unicorn.